Sydney Town Hall Gallery. In support of Julian Assange. You may or may not know that there's an extradition trial underway in the UK at the moment and the goal of the US government, the very powerful US government, is to extradite Julian Assange to America to face uh, trumped up charges for uh, spreading the truth about terrible war crimes that are committed by the US government and effectively with the complicity of the Australian government. And it's, it's not about hacking, it's not about assault, it's not about any of these other smears. It's just purely about spreading the truth about what's actually happened that didn't need to happen. There was no basis and no need for the military incursions that America and Australia have made in the Middle East over the last 20, 30, 40, 50 years. So it's, it's, it's a, a, a smear and a scam and we're doing our best to stand up and make sure that it's not unlawful to speak the truth about terrible things that have happened. Stand up for your right to know. Um, Julian um, reported crimes. Now, if you see a crime happening down the street and you report it, um, that's a good thing. We're supposed to report crimes. Uh, but Julian saw crimes and he reported them and he got put in jail. And that's not right. If I see a crime and I report it, I don't expect to be put in jail. So, you know, if Julian can see crimes and report them and be put in jail for reporting them, then there's something wrong. And that's a really important thing to say. Uh, and it's quite simplistic, but it's how, but it's one reason why we should all come out and protest and, and talk about this, you know? Okay. As you're probably aware, it's very useful. It's, I've, that's, I mean, that's how I really discovered WikiLeaks three or four years ago, I guess. Yeah. So it's because you get every side of the argument, so it's really helpful. My opinion is that there, certainly the support for Assange is better than 50%, and that's been borne out by the polls that I've seen, on, you know, the 60 Minutes poll and the Alan Jones poll. And, the polls online that I've seen, it's just that people don't understand how crucial an issue it is, um, and, and we do, which is why we're here. Yeah, and it's, it's sad, but it's sad that, that, that you know, saving uh, free speech and democracy has to fall to just regular people and the government can't step in and do what they need to do. But. I guess that's probably always been the case, to be honest. Um, I mean, you know, it's always been people who've brought the issues to the government and argued for it rather than the other way around. So, yeah, it's, it's well, unless it comes to economic rationalisation or something, um, in which case it's businesses taking it to government. But yeah, it's a very important issue. There's no doubt in my mind about that. And it's something that we, we need to do. and something that people should be paying attention to. For me, the beauty of Twitter is that you can spend as much time as you want listening to different views from people on the ground in a particular area or an expert in a particular field. And sometimes the mainstream media might get it right, sometimes they don't get it right. And you can get a, a great different view that will inform you in a way that you wouldn't have been informed otherwise. For me, Twitter's been a definitely a net positive and I know a lot of people can't go on it because they can't stand the abuse and all that kind of thing um, uh, abuse to me 
online is kind of like oxygen. <laughs> I, uh, I kind of like the fight myself. Um, because when you're fighting for the right reasons, you know, you should fight, really. Because there's a lot to fight for. I guess I have probably, maybe stupidly, an optimistic outlook, ultimately, in that I think that, um, you know, truth will win and eventually, and I think that people, if they see the information and they see the data and they hear the arguments, that people will eventually come to the right conclusions. Of course, not everyone will, but most, I think that more than 50% of people will. So that's why I consider something like Twitter to be a benefit because I think that, as I said, it enables you to hear all those viewpoints. And I mean, there's that guy, Ryan Knight, or whatever his name is, in the crowd socialist or whatever he calls himself in LA, I think he is. And he was anti Assange and he's just reached, he's come to the realization that he was wrong. And he tweeted that the other day. He said, I was wrong. Um, he's doing us a service. So, I, I mean, presumably that's happened through reading tweets and, and educating himself. And he's, I don't know anything about him, but he seems to be a somewhat influential uh, tweeter, at least. So, that's what, I guess, you know, what, with the, that's the, the goal with some of these trolls or some of these people who are misinformed is if you can present them with some facts and tell them, show them that people feel very differently than they do, then eventually over time they might start to self-doubt their position. And um, that's, I mean, that's for a fact that's happened. I've seen it happen. And that's great. And that's what I hope that happens on Twitter in the future. Great river We're going to put these all, we're going to paint the town yellow and free Julian Assange ribbon. Okay. And we're going to put it around our heads with the bandana. Uh, yeah. Fight for just affairs on Sydney Town Hall stairs. Here to make a stand, we are all Assange. We dispute the lies. We are on the rise. Making truth expand. We are all Assange. We dispute the lies. We are on the rise. We distrust the plan. We are all Assange. He always speaks the truth. Knowledge backed with proof. Facts are in demand. We are all Assange. Billy wants you to get into his film. He's, he's driving around in his van. Oh. With a big Julian Assange sign on. Award winning. Hey Julian. Stand up for the truth, people. Yeah, brother. <laughs> Back. Should start warming up soon. Jeez. Only one decision. No extradition. Only one decision. No extradition. Only one decision. No extradition. Only one decision. No extradition.
Peter and the scribe, we distrust the plan. We are.